So let's say that I wanted to know whether or not some Python program printed three. I have this Python program, and I'm just going to ask this question in general, will this Python program print three when running on that input? This is another one of these cases where it might now be pretty apparent that there's lots of easy ways to solve this for some subset of programs. If I had a Python program where nowhere in there did I have a print statement that included a three inside it, then certainly the answer is going to be no, that Python program does not print three. But you might write other convoluted programs where there are print statements in there that have a three inside, and now it could be difficult to answer. So we're going to show that answering this in the absolutely most general case is not possible. So we're going to show that it is undecidable, it is not computable to determine whether or not a given Python program prints three. So the idea here is I want to use prints three to solve halt. That's my strategy. I'm going to use prints three to solve halt. I'm going to reduce halt to prints three. That is, use some solution for prints three in order to build a solution for halt. And the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to construct a Python function, m prime, such that m prime prints three if and only if m on w, which was given to halt, halts. So for a given m and w, I'm going to use those to produce some m prime, where that m prime is going to have the property that it's only going to print three in the case that m halted when running on w. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to define m prime on some input x that we're never going to give it, but it could take it if we wanted it to, because we're never going to actually run this function m prime. And what we're going to do is we're first going to say y is equal to m on w, and we're going to just go ahead and assume that our universal Turing machine doesn't print 3. That seems like a reasonable assumption, that universal Turing machines shouldn't need to print things. They just give output. They don't need to have side effects if we don't want them to. So we're just going to assume our universal Turing machine doesn't print 3. This first line, y equals m on w, that's not going to print 3. But as soon as we get past that line, we're just going to print 3. So now in this case, we can say if m on w halts, we definitely print 3. If, however, m on w runs forever, we never print 3. Because this line, y equals m on w, stopped us from ever getting to that print statement. So if we could answer this question, does this function print 3? Then we could answer the question of whether or not this line finished, so did m on w halt or run forever? Question. So this function, m prime, halts if and only if m on w is going to halt. So we do have this extra assumption that the method we use to simulate m on w is never going to print 3. So we have this assumption already. Let's just assume that's not going to happen. So assuming that this is going to be the case, the only way we could print 3 is if m on w halted. If m on w ran forever, we definitely didn't print 3. Let's do one more really quick function. It is undecidable to determine whether or not a given Python program, let's say, is malware. We're just going to define malware as it does a bad thing. It, it reads some sort of forbidden memory location or something like that. So you're going to see, hopefully, a very similar pattern to what we saw before. We're going to use malware to decide halt. That is, reduce halt to malware, to this malware problem. And in order to do that, we're going to build an m prime such that m prime is malware if and only if m on w, which was the input for halt, does actually halt. So essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to define our m prime very similarly to what we did before. So we're going to say first let's run m on w, and then afterwards we're going to do a bad thing do a malware thing, something that malware does. Read forbidden memory locations or forward I love you to everybody in your email contact list or something like that. 
So now we're going to assume that this doesn't do bad things. So maybe we do that universal Turing machine thing in a, in a safe environment so that it can't be malware. And then afterwards, we're doing the bad thing. So if I could tell you whether or not we did the bad thing, then we've answered this question of did M halt on W. So therefore, malware is also going to be undecidable.